I'm not using a base coat because I don't need to because it's acrylics. If it's on natural nails, I definitely will use a base coat. Get up to the cuticle as fast as close as possible. And use the brush and nudge it up so I don't flood the cuticles. Ideally, if you do two thin coats, you will be able to polish and it may not even it won't even look like you're polishing, it look like color powder. Very thin, see that? Very thin. Drag the polish through. Nudge up to the cuticle area. shape I don't cap that's my preference generally I have no no issues with my polish peeling because I do two thin coats are properly cured and it stands down really, really well if you cap you kind of lose your shape a lot of people do cap the, the tips I don't cap okay. brush strokes very thin to that I barely have any polish on my brush the thicker you try to polish if it's too thick that's when it's not gonna cure properly the top may be cured but underneath won't cure and that's when you have that whole nail just the whole gel polish just comes popping off that's when you run the issues like that okay you do very thin every time you polish you re you need two coats regardless how pigment the gel polish is two thin coats will secure polish into your nails. That's why we don't do nails really thick when it comes to short nails because we've got to polish it. We got that, that two more layers, three layers on there, you know? Two polish, one top coat. So we don't want it to be too thick because it can add more thickness to the nails. I see a lot of people struggle with flooding the cuticles. Problem being too thin. You can die, I don't do short. Um, I don't do and usually do shorts, but since the salon is very busy today on Sunday, I'm taking the walk-ins from the shop. So I, I do shorties. I used to do shorties all the time when I first started doing lives. You guys remember? It's because I started too many clientels and then I had to filter out my short nail clients. Nothing wrong with shorties. Shorty love too. Best gel polish? I like using wave gel. I think wave gel is one of the best polishes I've used out there, arguably. Um, it's up to you. There's a lot of there's a lot of polish out there. Depending on what kind of polish you're looking for. I like a medium consistency. I like it to cure well. I like the good pigmentation. I don't like it to be too runny. A lot of companies have really runny polishes. I don't like using those because they're more they have more chances to streak so wave gel definitely my go-to when it comes to gel polishes but you definitely have to try and see what, what you like best um,
That's my second coat, and then I'll do my design and a top coat, and I'm done. So I'll probably do a little white lines and gold abstract for this, this set. The ring finger and the pointer finger. Actually, I might do with the ring in the middle. Nah, nah, we're gonna pointer finger. Really pretty color. Let me take my liner brush out. Take my white. <laughs> One more time. Jesus. Really? It's so you've been right. putting your hand in and out the no, whole time? No. no. It wasn't earlier. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. It's nice and simple. Cutesy.
It's my 20 millimeter liner brush. for every finger design. That would have been too much, I think. so good. I like that color a lot. Oh no, that's done. Put that, put that. <laughs> Cure this a little longer. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm done for the day. No, probably not. See how busy it is out there. Thank you guys for joining me. See you guys later, hopefully. Tomorrow. Hey Jenny, how are you? Um, the liner brush is my 20 millimeter um, liner brush. Hey, Jenny. Not, not working today? And we're done. With the gel polish. Catch you guys later. Maybe I'll do a Q&A tonight.